As we were finishing up on Voyager, I looked at Cam, I go, write a script, and we'll make it happen. It is a film that I'm very, very, very invested in, and it means a lot to me to actually have it out and have everyone work so hard on it. For about two months or so, we, we were kind of pre-production, figuring out where we wanted to go. We did casting calls for the first time. It was really cool to be part of a first experience for the group. It was so cool to see how the cast really came together through that. Working on Small Fish, watching that set just come to life was absolutely amazing. For Small Fish, I was art director. We took a really big challenge and made our own set. We made our own flats and had to make a scene, a shop down in someone's basement. We had to get a bunch of fixtures to make it look like a store inside. We had to get a bunch of props. People just collaborated and brought in a lot of things and put it all together and create a set that was realistic to what we needed for this film that we were shooting. I felt like when I walked onto that set the day of, I was not ready. But being there, it actually felt like I was in this little shop. I had that thrift shoppy feel it was like a modern and rustic combination of things all woven into one. The character of Keeps with the old school like screwdriver twisting the metal bolts very much fit perfectly with the cell phone, very modern, charging on the countertop. The set really, really helped me feel like I could get in character. We had four days of filming. The first day was just kind of beauty shots. The second day was kind of scenes that we didn't really need everybody there. The third and fourth day were very much full day. We need everybody on set, all hands on deck. We took a whole day to light the film. Shooting on a 4K camera, making sure there was no fuzz on our countertop because you could see it in the camera. I was elevated a little bit because I learned how to rack focus and it was fun because you have to nail it right there because if you can't slap something you can fix. I was assistant camera and Jake let me kind of compose some of the shots, which was I wasn't used to. And my initial instinct is to go to someone and be like, okay, does this look good? Should I do this? And Jake was like, you choose, you decide. If you think it looks good, then it looks good. It was tough getting into that mindset of making the decision then being confident in the decision. The breakout moment for Small Fish was at the end of our second day of production because we've been on set for two days at that point. That's when I kind of realized that we've got a movie here. Without the passionate people, there's no Small Fish. There is a lot of challenges with editing. This is the first film that we shot raw. So I believe at the end of Small Fish, we had almost six terabytes worth of footage, which is a lot. I had the rough cut done about a weekend. I got in contact with Robbie. I was like, Robbie, we have different scenes in the film and they all mean different things. Can you write the music for it? And so I got that rough draft, and then I watched it seven or eight times at least. And once I got a grasp for kind of what the role of each character was and, and how the movie was going to pan out, I started writing music for it. The score for Small Fish consisted of about four instruments. There's a cello, piano, guitar, and then some bells in there. It was really simple. And I liked that. The most important moments of the film I based on just kind of layering those same instruments and building them up. The first time I think all of us heard the score he'd written, all of us were in awe. Like it was absolutely phenomenal to actually hear music that was specifically designed for this project. It wasn't gonna fit anywhere else. It had to fit in this project. Small Fish as a whole, like the project has been a huge leap in like what we do and how we can pull forward with other films. As someone that has had such a deep hand in Small Fish, you want it to do well. 
But the deeper your fingerprints go on it, the more afraid you are, because that means that's the more stuff that's on you. But I truly think that this is a story that resonates with people. It's about needing help, about getting the help you don't always know that you need. And I think that as long as people can understand that and then it follows and tracks and then we did our jobs, and I think we did, it can go really far. We're aiming really high for this film. We're aiming at some really prominent festivals. We're shooting for the stars and we're hoping to hit them. I think we can. No easy on me.